Hi, Drew from Mission RV Services. Well, today we have a good job that we're gonna take you along on. We are going to be doing an RV AC on a Class C motor coach. Um, it's gonna be a Houghton that we're installing today. And the good thing is, is that uh, we're gonna show you some tips and tricks that we do as, you know, because we do a lot of these. And we'll show you how we get the AC up and get the old one down. And should be a lot of fun and we hope you enjoy this video and if you do make sure you like and subscribe because that really helps us a lot but here we go hey, we are working on a winnebago navion and normally when we change an ac it is because there is an issue with the ac we're taking off but today's case is a little bit different. We're actually doing uh, an upgrade. So we are gonna be taking off a Coleman Mach 15, which is a good unit, but this is a very small space. So they are a little bit loud. Anybody who has a Coleman knows that. So we're gonna be putting on a Houghton and the Houghton is much quieter, very low, very much a lower decibel rate and it's a two fan system which Houghton claims is very efficient and so far from the Houghtons we've worked with we tend to agree. So we're taking this cover off and the cover filter and the mounting plate for the Coleman will not be reused on the Houghton. The Houghton has a manufactured plate and spacer system. So what we're removing right here are two butterfly nuts that hold the control box to the AC unit itself. So here we're cutting the HVAC tape away between the rooftop unit and the ceiling so we can begin to move the air conditioner off of the roof. Okay, now that we have the unit separated from the lower side or the inside of the coach, we've strapped it around, and now we are going to prepare to lower this down with our AC uh, lift called the AC pick-me-up. And wow, does it make things much easier getting an AC up and down off of a roof. So the nice thing about this roof is, is it's fiberglass and it's much easier to clean than a rubber roof. So we're going to use some denatured alcohol and microfiber cloths and just a little bit of elbow grease. 
So now we have the AC down, we're strapping the new unit on, taking care to not damage the cover before we reverse the process and lift this new unit up onto the roof. So this is the part of the installation that having an extra person helps. While I'm up on the roof doing some guiding and movement, I have Jen inside the rig and she's telling me where I'm at in relation to how the gasket is lining up to the access hole. Okay, here we are getting ready to wire the 120 volt wires in. There's three, a black, a white, and a uh, just a regular brass bare wire that's ground neutral and hot. And we are using Wagyu connectors on these. Wagyu connectors are very good. And we like that they hold better than just the old twist nut wire connectors. So that's what we're doing right here to get ready to uh, prepare for our new ceiling control unit. When using the Wagyu connectors, you just want to make sure you about have about a half inch of exposed wire, and that gives plenty of wire to seat into the connector so it doesn't pull out on you. So here we are removing the mounting frame away from the cover itself, the control cover. So that way we can then take that frame, the black frame, and then that is what actually pulls the roof mounted AC and makes the compression gasket collapse to create the seal. Okay, our next step before we put on the molded plastic installation trim piece we are going to take down the coleman one which is metal and it does not work with this installation so once we get that down we will have to trim the hole on this where we're going to put the plastic ring up because Winnebago uses a machine to cut their openings out in the ceiling and they all have rounded corners. So which works great with the Coleman ring, but it does not work with the Houghton plastic molded ring. So we need to square off each corner so that trim ring will fit up there. And then we can begin the installation with our lag bolts and spacers.
So now we are mounting our plate. So what we're doing here as we run each lag bolt into the four corners with the spacers, we're gonna begin drawing the rooftop AC down and there's a gasket that's about an inch. And we're gonna compress that gasket about a half inch down, and that will give us our watertight seal between the roof and the air conditioner. So once we get that down, we'll actually stick a tape measure up there and we'll measure that around, and we'll make sure we have a good secure fit. Okay, once we have our gasket compressed, and now we're gonna start test fitting this cover, that's the, actually the controller for this AC unit. But since when you're going from one manufacturer to another, you do run into problems once in a while. And on this particular one, we have a rounded wall, and the corner of this cover hits that wall, so we'll actually have to do a little fabrication to get this to seat very, very good and snugly against the ceiling. So before we put the cover on, on our last fitting and we're ready to move forward to the finish of the installation, you wanna go up, make sure you take any loose wires and zip tie them up out of the way so they're not interfering with any of your filter covers or any of your screw holes when you go to mount this cover up there. Okay, that wraps up our installation of the new Houghton. So this was a Coleman to Houghton swap out on our Winnebago Navion. And a nice thing about the Houghton is it runs on a remote control. There are no ceiling controls or knobs to turn up there. So everything is done by remote. And this unit also has a built-in heat pump and somewhat of a dehumidifier, which is a really nice feature. So, but if you like this video and you thought it was helpful, please hit the subscribe button, click the notification bell so you get alerted to more videos like this in the future. And until next time, everybody, we'll see you later.